What's going on, Lego Maniacs? It's Ty, the Lego guy here. And today we're doing the very first Battle Packs Lego ever made. The OGs, and I have to say, I'm just gonna tell you guys right now, I absolutely love these Battle Packs. We're gonna get into exactly why, but I just think they're fantastic. But the uh, one on the right is the uh, Clone Troopers Battle Pack. That's set 7655. It had 58 pieces, four minifigs, retailed for 10 US, and it came out in 2007. Now nowadays this set's going for 51 new or 29 used. And then on the left we have the Lego Droids Battle Pack. Now one of the things I love about these is how simple the names are. Uh, that set 7654, it had 102 pieces, 7 minifigs, retailed for 10 US, and it came out in 2007. Now nowadays this set's going for 44 new or 25 used. Anyways, we're gonna get into why I have such high why I view them so highly. I just think they're absolutely fantastic. Uh, but enough talk, let's get right into it. And to start us off, we're actually going to take a look at the droid battle pack. So first thing we'll take a look at is this droid carrier. And I have to say, I think Lego actually did a pretty good job, especially for its size. The turrets do rotate ever so slightly. And it just gets the job done. For what it is, it's good. I mean, it fits six droids, you know, including obviously the pilot. So that's honestly fantastic. Uh, even a little area for the blasters, which is nice. What's funny is this one came with the standard stud blasters, whereas the clone one came with the brand new blasters at the time. So I thought that was actually kind of interesting. But anyways, nice looking little droid carrier. The other uh, vehicle that you get with this set as the uh, stap tried to get away is this awesome looking stap if you guys have been watching this channel you'll know i love staps i just think they're such a cool looking speeder and this one's no exception i i think that it really gets the job done it looks really good uh, but yeah those are the two vehicles let's now take a look at the minifigs here we have the two minifigs uh, that are included in the uh, Battle Droid Battle Pack. So why I say two is you get four normal Battle Droids and you get three Super Battle Droids. So great value. The Battle Droid has not changed in years. Uh, even back in 2007, it was basically the same as what we got nowadays. The only main difference you'll notice is um, he's holding the normal flashlight blasters, as I like to call them. He is not holding the normal blasters, which is really odd because they came in the same year. But I guess they thought that this was, you know, the way to go. And I'm not exactly against it. This one just looks very nostalgic to me just because this is what I had back when I was a kid. And then the Super Battle Droid is fantastic looking. They literally made all these new pieces for him. They were not new for this set. However, they did not go off the B1 Battle Droid at all. He has custom arms, custom body, custom legs for the time. And I just think he looks really, really good. Uh, but yeah, those are the two minifigs that are included. Let's now move on to the Clone Trooper Battle Pack. And here we have the uh, Clone Trooper Battle Pack. So the first vehicle we'll take a look at, or I should say the only vehicle, is what's supposed to be a Bark Speeder. Now, I don't think that this is terrible. I just think by today's standards, this is very dated. However, I do quite like the engines in the back right here. I love the fact that it has these... Uh, what almost look like, well, I think they're supposed to represent blasters, you know, going off. They kind of remind me of the, um, you know, just the standard, you know, light up stud on the end of a flashlight piece. But still, I think it gets the job done. It's just, it's a little blocky and it doesn't completely cover you up. Like, it's just, it, do, it does definitely look dated by today's standards. However, I still think it's not bad. I love the fact you can put a little blaster in the back here and it looks like he's manning that. The other part of the set is this awesome looking turret. Now I have to say, I really, really like this turret. I think that the design is spot on. It may be the best turret Legos ever made. It's simple, but it just looks really good. Uh, but yeah, those are the two models. Let's now take a look at the fig. And here we have the mini figs. So just to let you guys know, you get two standard clone troopers, and then you also get a commander trooper, which also looks very much like Cody a little bit. A lot of people like to call him Cody. And then you also get a shock trooper. And these guys are just so nostalgic for me. 
I love their masks. I love the way they look. To this day, they may be my favorite episode three clones. And I just think they look so good. Like, so much nostalgia for these figs, but it's a good type of nostalgia where, you know, the figs are actually good. And, uh, you know, you have nostalgia for them just because it, you, they came out when they, you were a kid or whatnot. Just to let you guys know, they have no face printing. They're just literally just plain black heads. So there was no talk of angry clone faces because they didn't exist back in 2007. But all in all, just love the minifigs. I love the printing, the detail on these guys. I actually bought three of each of these battle packs just because I like them so much, which was a lot for me back when I was a kid. Uh, you know, that's a, that's a, a fair amount of money to spend, right? Uh, anyways, those are the mini figs. Let's now get into the end of the review and get my final thoughts. Well, guys, those were my reviews. Do hope you enjoyed them. Honestly, looking at these two models, I have to say, I just think that they're, they're incredible. Lego did such a good job. I mean, to get four clones for 10 US, decent builds. Again, the bark speeder is a little lacking. The turret's amazing. And then for the droids, you got three super battle droids and four standard battle droids, a droid carrier, and a staff for 10 US. You can't go wrong. Like, this was the golden days of, or the golden age, I should say, of battle packs. They just were phenomenal. But let me know what you guys think about these models, if you like them, if you don't. Any areas you think they can maybe improve on them. Again, I think the bark speeder is the only one that I really see. The design is, a, it's not bad, but it could be better. However, there's just so much goodness going on with either of these sets that that doesn't even matter. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you today. But if you like this video, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing and click that bell so you're notified for any future uh, Star Wars reviews, comparisons we do on the channel. We basically do one every Tuesday. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got for you again. But thanks again for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.